So hello everyone and welcome back to my allotment. It's been a little while since I've been here, so I've not been here for about a month when I last filmed an episode down here. I know it was only put up about a week or so ago, but I've just been really busy and haven't got it up. So I've come to the conclusion that this season's sort of growing is over really. Well, for me, it never really got started because obviously I was away for an injury. So what I've decided to do is start prepping the plot ready for next year's growing season and get a few winter veg in if I can. So I'm going to start on plot 64. I have made a bit of a boo-boo. I was going to film me rotivating and doing all that sort of stuff. But my video camera, I left the memory card at home so I can't film on that. So it's going to have to be on this phone for the moment and then maybe later I'll get the camera down. So. The other thing I want to do as well is I've bought a, well I say I bought, I got given a rake to review uh, from a company on Amazon which I've brought down with me which I'm going to be using as I rotivate. So here we are on plot 64. Now this area at the front here is what I'm going to be rotivating today. I'm also going to rotivate the back half a bit later on. That's where I've got all my potatoes at the moment, so I'm going to have a go at digging some of those up, if there are any. Um, and I'll be rotating that bit over as well. My plan is for the front half here, I've got lots of pallet collars, which I'm going to be pre-coating and putting in as beds. And then the back half, I'm going to keep as a potato area, but I'm going to grow my potatoes in pots from now on. So I'm probably going to put some weed membrane down, do a sort of bed type thing, but with weed membrane and then some wood chippings down if there's still some on the site, just to hopefully keep the weeds down in that area. But it means I can have a nice path in between as well. So I'm going to get started. So it's now about half an hour, 45 minutes after I started rotivating and clearing. And the ground is looking pretty clear, ready for me to start putting the uh, pallet collars out and putting down some grass seed after that. So I've gone over it twice with the rotivator and I've then used the rake that I said about reviewing, used that to get any of the greenery out of there at all. There's still a few little bits, um, they'll all rot down and the bits that still got roots in, they may grow, but I, in my experience, when I've planted grass over an area like this, it's then kind of smothered out anything else that was there. Particularly when you start mowing the lawn that grows there, they seem to be kept down quite well. So after all that rotivating and clearing, I headed home, went and picked up my car, had a bit of lunch as well, and I've gone and collected all the pallet collars. And I thought I'd just show you how full my boot is with these pallet collars. So here we go, 40 pallet collars. Yeah, you heard right, four zero. I thought, I'd, because they were cheap, they're £1.50 a go, I thought I'd get 40 of them just to keep me going for a while. They're quite a drive away from where I live, so they're in Raynham from a place called Fletcher's Pallets. They all look like they're in really good condition. So if you are near Raynham or are going to be silly and drive miles and miles like me, I'd highly recommend Fletcher's. They had loads of these and any other pallets that you might want. I'll put a link to them in the description if you do fancy popping along. So I'm just about to finish for the day. I've been down here for several hours. Um, I've put all those pallet collars down and I've started creo coating them just to protect them a little bit. I'll show you what I've done so far and you can get an idea of what my sort of plan is for the future. So here we go. This is the area that I cleared earlier. And as you can see, we've got two rows of four. Um, I've left each of these big enough so that I can get a lawnmower between them just because I learned before that it makes it very difficult if you don't. At the front, we've got ones that are one pallet collar high, which is gonna be for my standard veg. And then the ones behind will do quite nicely for my carrots and parsnips and that sort of thing. But I've still got loads more of these. So far we've used 12 of these and I've got 40 of them in total. So plenty of room to be putting more of these out. So that is me done for the day. I'm gonna head home in a moment. I know that I was going to review that rake, but it's been quite difficult because I've only got the phone up here with me. So it's quite difficult to sort of show you the rake in action, but I'll get that done at some point soon. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Take care and happy allotmenting.